Since the Cixi Dallas Liaison Office was formed in 1992, it has carried out Cixi's for missions and help with education, as well as serve as a hub for eco-friendly blankets distributed to disaster areas. This revealed the 25 years of work by Dallas volunteers. 51 years ago from five disciples making an extra pair of baby shoes per day. and 30 housewives donating five cents daily, Cixi's spirit of donating to a bamboo coin bank is now practiced in all corners of the world. No matter the shape of the coin bank, the meaning doesn't change. It's one's determination to help others. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This was the devastation that hit Americans the hardest. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina swept the country. What role did Sichi play in the disaster relief? That year, Tsuji volunteers from Dallas provided relief aid for Katrina survivors. It's also the first time local volunteers held such a large-scale multiple-session aid distribution. Love it. I feel like uh, you and your country, your people are doing more for us than my government. From this, Tsuji's charity mission takes a giant step forward. It's a brand new, brand new, brand brand new one. Yeah, make it warm. In 2007, Sigi Dallas chapter was officially recognized by the Texas Department of Emergency Management. Working alongside the Red Cross and the Salvation Army. In 2013, the explosion of a fertilizer plant shook up and nearly destroyed the lives of the 3,000 people who live in the small town of West Texas. It's gone. When I got there and saw my dad, he was all right. But the people that were around there, some of them were blood everywhere. So. Because we're the master's eyes and feet. Walking into the hard-hit regions, the blueprint of how to conduct this relief has already been formed. The Dallas City volunteers distribute cash cards and blankets to the victims. All of y'all are so good. I love you people. And thank y'all for everything that y'all have done. Greatly appreciate it. The list of victims includes George Smith, the director of the local EMS, who received injuries to his face during the evacuation mission. I didn't worry about my minor cuts and stuff. They weren't that bad. They told me to sit down and be a patient. Well, as soon as they turned their back, I left because I had work to do. We thank you for coming. We thank you for helping. West and myself, our givers, we're used to giving to people. It is a very humbling experience for us to take help. Just uh, responded to the fire like they're trained to do and they're like they're dedicated to do. These are very loyal servants that put their life on the line to save life. And I knew some of the ones that lost their life. So it's uh, extremely sad, it makes you realize how much in danger they are. Also in 2013, Oklahoma was hit by a tornado. Dallas volunteers cross state line to assist. So everything will work out. I'm usually on the other side giving them now I have to take. <laughs> it's hard. For the state of Oklahoma, thank you so much to our friends in Taiwan and our Taiwanese citizens here in Oklahoma and throughout our nation that has done so much to help us during a very challenging time in our state with the tornadoes that we experience and the loss of property and certainly we had some loss of life but we are very grateful for our great friends, our sister cities and our friendship with Taiwan and we appreciate the generous donation today from the foundation. Thank you so much. How are you? You're good. Hey, doctor. Yes we are. In 2016, a deadly tornado ripped through Texas, impacting Garland and its residents. Sigi volunteers once again began their relief work. 
where cash cards and blankets have become a symbol of comfort. I'm so We have a lot of people that were affected after the tornado that happened the day after Christmas. And we have very, very strong uh, residents, but all of them need help right now. And the contributions that we're receiving just made a huge difference. And I'm very, very proud of all the people that survived the tornado, but I'm very proud of all the, of our good friends that came to help. And I want to say thank you very much. That this organization showed enough tenacity and man, a compassion for mankind to come through and share some things with me and their knowledge. And I'm going to pass these things on to other people and I'm going to come back and bring my, my, my money back in my container to continue this help for other people in future disasters. Dallas, Texas plays a special role in storing Suji's eco-friendly blankets. Its warehouse is an important hub to transfer blankets across the United States, as well as Central and South America. The Dallas chapter, located centrally in the United States, we in the shortest time possible can provide relief blankets to all parts of the country. This is why the chapter is the nation's disaster relief blanket warehouse. The journey these blankets is on is to New Jersey while these blankets are headed to Haiti in the Caribbean Sea. Love has long been spread here. A third of our kids grow up in households that are beneath the poverty level and they definitely don't have the money and the wherewithal to get ready for school like they need to and that's why this is important. Beginning in 2005, Suji Dallas chapter annually joins the mayor's back to school fair. We started in you know, the mayor's back to school fair from 2005. In the first years, we provided you know, physical gym, like an eye check, a hearing check, because you know, nobody provided a uniform. We know a lot of people, a lot of kids don't have enough uniforms, so we started doing that. I think the first year we start about 1500 right now it's a 4000 We will put the $50,000 under this program. We just keep a mixed mastery because we like to provide more service to another family, not only one family. This is not the only place. So we go to the school to give the land because the other kids only have one uniform. We need more people to get a more budget to help to do this program. I like them. They're very nice. Thank oh, you. thank you. Thank you. Hey, here you go. This is the best day of my life. The Dallas chapter's involvement in education is especially significant at the Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy, established in 2011. We work together and we find through the aphorisms book related lessons. And so she comes in every month and does two days a month with our uh, school students on that particular lesson. Good morning, Mr. Uh, Douglas and uh, good morning, brothers. Today, our topic is our human minds. In the first class, they asked us to play Zuji's story. In the first class, he asked us to introduce Suji's formations so the students understand why they're learning from Suji. This brother? Yes. I will teach the young man persistence, and then you see the emotional come up. Uh, when those come up, where will that young man stand? Where will that faculty and staff member stand? The beauty of our relationship with Suji, it ties into all that. Master Chen Ying's lessons um, are about character about true humanitarianism. What consequence do the desire bring to you? I guess be uh, caught in greed because sometimes the things you may want so badly could inevitably be your downfall. Uh, sometimes desires means burden. Bring Jin's efforts into the classroom is our ultimate goal. It is the most direct way to educate students on life lessons. The educational road is long. We have to be patient, but children will grow up so we have to do it now. 
the past 51 years, Suji volunteers have traversed the globe and used native languages to thank the disaster victims. Master Jinya once said, the most beautiful sight is the smile of a patient's gratitude. All these years, this is really the only reward Suji volunteers seek after bringing relief. They bask in the ease of children's laughter and gratitude of those in need. In 2011, Time magazine announced 100 candidates of the most influential people in the world. The only person in Taiwan to win this honor was Suji Foundation's founder, Master Zhenyin. This honorable mention comes from years of charity work and trust from society. When the Suji Foundation celebrated its 50th birthday in 2016, the White House had these words of blessings. By mobilizing dedicated volunteers across the globe to aid those who need it most, organizations like Suchi are shaping a future that reflects the shared purpose and common ideals that bind humanity together. Suji isn't just a name, it is a small ceiling in the heart that's not limited by time or space. Love nurtures it to grow and compassion helps it gain strength. This is how Tsuji has spread from Taiwan's Hualien to all over the world.